Hey everyone, welcome back to the programming fields. I am Umesh Rana and in the today's video, we are going to solve a real world bug that many of us have faced while working with Laravel, React and Inertia.js. One of my awesome subscribers recently asked, why does file upload fail when updating a record using the put method in Inertia? It seems like everything works fine when you are updating text fields, but as soon as you attach an image or file, Laravel just does not receive anything. So today I will break down exactly why this happens and I will show you the correct and cleanest way to fix it. So firstly, let's dive into the problem. So here we created this CRUD application in Laravel 12 using React and Inertia.js in which we have the functionality to create and manage the products. So we have issue while updating the product. So if I will navigate to the edit. If I will try to upload a new image here, let's suppose I just want to change this image and if we'll click on update, this has triggered the form validation. Even though all fields are filled and the file is selected, so it should not trigger the validation for these fields. But rather than image, if I will just refresh this page and without uploading a new image, if I will simply change anything just like description or product name, then this is updating. But whenever I'm just trying to change the image and if I'll click on update, then this is triggering the product fields validation apart from image. So that means the data is not submitting to the server side, right? because we have added this validation at the server side. So let me just open the developer console first and I will navigate to the network tab so that we can analyze the network request. And if we'll try to click on update, here this has performed this update request. If you'll open this, the request method is put, but this request has not reached to the server. And if we'll check the preview, this has failed because this has not submitted to the server. Now if we will come to the product controller, inside app HTTP controllers, we have this product controller. And inside this update method, we had injected this product form request in order to validate the product form. Now instead of this product form, I will just use normal HTTP request. And just after this, I will use dump and die request all. And also I will just add product in this. Now I will come to the browser. I will clear out this network request. I will try to submit the form. So on submit, when I have not chosen any image, this has submitted these fields. Now when I will try to select new image and if we we'll click on submit, This request has not reached to that controller function. So there is some issue here. Second request is still in the process. So that means this request is not reaching to the server. And this is happening because when we are uploading the file from the client side, the request data is converted to the form data, right? If we check the client side for the chosen file, so I will come to the code editor and i will just open that product form component so inside resources js we have the pages and products so there we have this product form and inside this this was our submit handler here i'll just add console.log data because we have a state defined from this huge form hook I will add one message as data, data. Okay. Now let's come to the browser. Let's refresh and let me choose the image again. I'll come to the console window. I'll clear it out and I will submit the form. On submit, we have the data and inside this data, we have the featured image in the form of file. So this is file object here. So at the client side, 
we are getting correct data here but this request data is not reaching to the server so that means this is not able to parse the method and here is the core issue laravel expects file uploads to come via multi-part form data if we'll check the network request here in the payload this data is converted in the form data because laravel expects file uploads to come via multi-part form data but php and therefore laravel does not support parsing multi-part data on real put request php only processes file uploads when the method is post so when you send a real put request with a file the browser sends everything correctly from this client side but laravel cannot access any of it that's why this request is not reaching to the controller function so this is not a laravel bug this is a limitation okay and to fix this it's issue we will use method spoofing because laravel supports this natively and here what we will do we will use post method instead of put for submitting this request so previously we were using this put request here in order to update the data now we will update this form using the post request from this inertia.js but here we will pass one more parameter in the data along with these all state keys so previously we were sending name description price and featured image now along with these all i will just pass one more key as method and this i will set it based on condition so if the form is in edit mode this will be put request else it will be post request right because we already use this in laravel form handling so additionally we use method directive in order to define put request right so we can remove this put this is not needed now if you don't have to update any image or file then we can use put request here directly else we can use post request and in the data itself we will pass this method this is called method spoofing so externally this request will be sent via post request but internally we will pass one key as method and this method will have value as put this is done now let me remove this console this is not needed now and also we will add one property to enforce this request to the form data so we'll add force form data to true so whenever we will submit the form while updating the product this will convert the entire form request data to the form data now in the controller we already added this request all so let's come to the browser now let me clear the console and let's choose any image i will select this image now i will try to submit this form now we can see in the controller we received the data along with the featured image and we have a new key as method right so we are receiving data at the controller side now if we'll try to submit the form without having the image so firstly i'll refresh this and i will submit as it is and yes this time also we are receiving the data and this time we don't have the featured image now let's apply the form request here because we removed that so i will simply add product form request here all right we already have this this is done now let's save and come to the browser let's try to select image and let's click on update on update again we are getting data so we don't have any validation issue because this is reaching to that product controller function after passing the validation let's remove this dump and die and now let's try to update the product i will just close this developer console i will select a new image here now i will click on update yes the product has been updated and this product image has been changed as well now let's try to upload another image yes again the image has been uploaded on edit if we'll update it 
without selecting a new image yes this is working so let's quickly recap what we have covered laravel cannot process file uploads with real put request so when using inertia we will have to use post method and we will have to use method spoofing as put okay so this is the recommendation pattern when you are uploading files using inertia plus laravel so that's it if you are working with laravel react and inertia and facing issues with file uploads now you know why it fails and how to fix it like a pro if this video helped you please like it and subscribe to the channel for more useful laravel and react tips and if you have faced similar problems or want me to cover more real world bugs like this simply drop a comment below so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video